Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergie. Fortnite has been around for about a year now, and since its jump in popularity, there have been a number of changes to the game. To keep things fresh, new interesting items are constantly being added to the game, but some of these items are better than others. So today, let's go over some of the best items that have ever been added. I'll base this largely on consensus, although I may add a personal favorite or two in there. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out our video on the top 10 types of players you meet in Fortnite. But before you do that, get ready. It's time for the top 10 best items that got added to Fortnite. Number 10. The Zapatron. The Zapatron was a secret weapon that could be gained from a loot crate, and it was totally OP, but totally awesome. It was actually added to the game way back in beta in Early Access 1.6.3, and initially was available in both the Battle Royale and Save the World modes. However, when people kept one-shotting each other from across the map, it was determined that the gun was hella OP, despite the limited ammo count and need to charge it up. So, it was removed from Battle Royale. It's still there in Save the World, though, so if you want to give it a try, head over to that mode. Number 9. The port fort The port fort is exactly exactly what you expect, a portable fort. And it's totally boss. Just throw it down and a big old fort will be constructed really quickly, providing you with excellent defense. And besides its utility, the fort itself is really cool, plus it's made of metal so it's really strong. There's even a tire on the bottom that you can jump onto to get to the top of the fort. Not only were these super fun, but they allowed more casual players to take better advantage of structures, which is great because I'm really bad at building stuff. Number 8. The Jetpack Jetpacks were added to Fortnite in patch 4.2 back in May, and they were so much fun. As you probably guessed, they allow you to fly up into the air. And as you also probably guessed, it was hilarious. Now, they weren't super OP or anything, because you couldn't enter targeting mode while in the air, making it harder to shoot people from up there, but you could still shoot and throw bombs. It did have limited power, you couldn't fly forever, so it was kind of like a glorified launch pad, but it was really cool, especially since it was the first backpack item added to the game. Speaking of the launch pad, number seven, the launch pad. When the jump pads were first introduced, there were two types, one that shot you up and one that shot you in direction. They were pretty fun, but the thing is, they very often resulted in fall damage, and that's no fun. However, when the launch pad was introduced, things got a whole lot more fun. No longer did you need to worry about fall damage because the launch pad would shoot you up into the air and then let you deploy your glider so you could control your fall a lot better. However, that wasn't the last we saw of the jump pads. Number six, the bouncer trap. As I was saying, the early versions of the jump pads ended up being removed because they just weren't very useful. However, in June 2018, they were brought back into the game, but in a different state. Now the two types of jump pads were combined together into the Bouncer Trap, which launched players into different directions depending on the way you hit the pad. This can be used in conjunction with things like shopping carts to send you on a huge jump. Plus you're immune to fall damage, which opens up the possibilities a bunch. Number 5. The Bush The Bush is a legendary item used to camouflage a player. You can use it just once, and when activated, it makes you look like the bush. If you take any damage, either from enemies, fall damage, or the storm, it's destroyed. It isn't the most useful item in the world, since you need to crouch to make good use of it, and it isn't quite as inconspicuous as you might hope, but it has also led to some pretty hilarious situations. Number 4. The Rocket Launcher When the Rocket Launcher was first introduced in Patch 1.6, it was intended to be used to destroy structures, which, admittedly, it does. But as players soon learned, if you jump on it at just the right time, a player could ride on top of the rocket. And apparently this was news to Epic, who didn't actually realize it could be done until they saw a player do it. Turns out the rocket only explodes if the front of it makes contact, so if you stay on top, you can ride to your heart's content. This is one of the coolest additions to Fortnite ever and gave us some amazing videos. Made even better because it was totally accidental. But the rocket game has recently been turned up a notch with the new weapon. Number 3. The Guided Missile The Guided Missile was added in March 2018 and it was awesome. It allowed the player to shoot a rocket then control its flight, which reminded me of the best James Bond weapon ever, the Sentinel. It's cool weapon, but the best part is it took rocket riding to a whole new level. Not only does the guided missile allow you to ride on top of a missile that's being controlled, but it stops you from needing another person to shoot it for you. Since the rocket starts off slow, you can just shoot it downward, then hop onto it and start controlling it yourself. Number 2. The Boogie Bomb. This one had to be here. Back in December 2017, we were introduced to perhaps the most fabulous weapon in all of Fortnite, the Boogie Bomb. It's a grenade that you use like any other grenade, but its effects are unlike any other. Any player caught in the radius of the blast will start dancing uncontrollably. While dancing, you can't build, shoot, or use items, but you can dance around like Danny Zuko on meth. It's just so fun and has led to some of the best interactions ever. Number 1. The Infinity Gauntlet 
Oh man, this was awesome. For those who somehow missed it, the Infinity Gauntlet was an item added temporarily as part of the limited time game mode that coincided with Avengers Infinity War. If you haven't seen those videos, just watch them, they're so cool. After a while, the gauntlet would fall down and players would fight to be the first to get there, and if you put on the gauntlet, you became freaking Thanos. You get a big jump, awesome laser powers, plus you're freaking Thanos. Did I mention that it turns you into Thanos? Good, because it's awesome. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack the thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Check out our Top 10 Fortnite playlist for more videos like this one, and let me know what your favorite Fortnite item is, whether or not it's on this list. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFerge with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.